Daily Minutes of Saturday, September 5, 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. Today's broadcast is completely in English. We start as usual with the propagation bulletin of the RGB. In addition to that we have a short piece of data which is in solid Domino EX22 around 1000 Hz. Domino EX22 around 1000 Hz. And now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha and Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha on Friday the 4th of September. Well, this week brought a much-needed break from the effects of the virtually continuous coronal holes on the sun. This saw the KP index come down to a more reasonable 1 or 2 for most of the time, with a corresponding improvement in HF conditions. Now, as we're into September, we should see a bigger improvement as we head further into autumn. The solar flux index remained firmly below 100 and it's predicted to stay below 90 until next weekend when it may rise to 110 or maybe even 115. The critical frequency over the UK has risen to around 6.4 MHz this week, opening up paths with a maximum usable frequency of about 21 MHz at times. Nevertheless, 14 and 18 MHz remain the money bands on HFDX, but they remain very vulnerable to the effects of high-speed solar winds at times. Other highlights to look out for this week include grey line openings to the Pacific on 40 meters and 80 meters at sunrise. Gary, Zulu Lima 2, India Foxtrot, Bravo, and Tony, Zulu Lima 2, Alpha, Golf Yankee, have both been spotted on 40 meters CW around 0500 UTC. Paths to the west coast of the USA are also improving, especially on 17 and 20 meters. Finally, good luck to all those taking part in this weekend's HF SSB Field Day. Short path HF predictions from Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha for the UK can be found in the propagation section on the RSGB website at rsgb.org. Now the VHF and upwards propagation news. Well, this week a long-awaited area of high pressure is about to move in across the British Isles. Now, this high should last until midweek when an Atlantic low is expected to move in towards the northwestern parts of the UK with strengthening winds. Tropo propagation is likely to be slightly enhanced due to the high pressure area and the temperature inversions that it creates too. Recent wet weather and damp ground will mean some fog overnight and early mornings and this could create the potential for some good ducting conditions within the UK and the near continent, although they'll tend to weaken as the temperature picks up in the mornings. Stronger winds in the northwest will probably curtail any lift conditions after midweek. These enhanced conditions will hopefully help the 2 metre trophy and backpackers contest for the uh, this weekend and they should hang around for the 70 centimeters activity contest on tuesday evening and that's your lot from the propagation team this week and that's it for the gb2rs national news for the uk from around the world this week don't forget you can still catch up with all the regional gb2rs news as there's a number of amateur stations broadcasting the news on the air across the country every sunday right where you live and if you'd like to check out the broadcast schedule for your location, check the TX Factor website, click through to TX News, where you can view or download a PDF file with all the details. Don't forget, if you've got any news items that you'd like to have included in future broadcasts of GB2RS that may also appear in the RAGCOM magazine, you can get in touch by sending an email to gb2rs at rsgb.org.uk. And don't forget you can also subscribe to this podcast by visiting the TX Factor website at txfactor.co.uk or via iTunes by searching the iTunes podcast section for TX Talk. I'm Mike Marsh, G1IR, reporting with the TX News weekly podcast of GB2RS. Thanks for listening and we'll see you here next week with the very latest update of GB2RS News.